Hey friends, how's it going? I am doing something a little bit different this time. Um, I figured um, I didn't really know what to do as far as crafting goes, um, but I wanted to check in with you guys and um, just kind of touch base after getting back from creativation. Um, so as you pop in, just make sure you say hi. Um, don't judge me too harshly. I am looking a hot mess. Um, <laughs> it's been a really, really long time. Hey, Ivalice. Hey, Penny. Um, it's been an adventure. Hey, Heidi. Um, hey, Sandy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, I did just see that Christopher's going live in 30 minutes, so... Um, we will kind of just hang out and chat until he goes live and then I'll pop over onto his video as well. Hi Madonna. Hey Jibs. Um, okay. So yes, they were so glad that I was home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's been a cool day. I did take a long nap earlier. Um, hi Diane. Hey Tracy. Um, so when I got home, um, basically my flight went out last night at, um, like 12, no, 2.20 a.m. is when my flight was scheduled to leave. Um, so I was at the airport at like midnight um, in Phoenix time, which for me was like 2 in the morning, like for East Coast time. Um, so I was at the airport and um, kind of just like waiting around and you know, whatever. My flight was supposed to leave at 2.20. Um, and it did, it wasn't super late that we left, but it did get kind of delayed. I don't know. The boarding took forever. Um, yeah, it was a red eye. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was hoping that I was going to be able to sleep on the flight, um, but that did not happen. So, um, like my neck was hurting really bad and I just, I couldn't sleep. Um, and so I was up and then I had to, um, I had a connecting flight in Charlotte, North Carolina. And um, I made it to the airport and I did all that. Everything went smoothly for the most part, um, except on my flight from Charlotte to Norfolk, there was a guy on the plane who was barfing and I was in the very last row. So like the bathroom was right behind my chair and he was barfing the whole ride <laughs> and it was the grossest thing ever. <laughs> you could hear him in the bathroom. It was very loud. Like the whole back third of the plane was like looking like, oh my God, what is going on? It was super, super gross. Um, everyone was like starting to get sick because just like, I don't know, ugh, it was super gross. Um, and it was like, not even like he was just sick. It was, he was like super drunk. Um, yikes. <laughs> I would have felt bad for him if he was just ill. Um, but like, I don't know why you would do that and then get on a plane. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't judge. I'll try not to judge. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, I figured we would kind of hang out for a little bit and just chat. Um, I'm not going to be really doing any projects tonight, but I figured maybe I could show you some of my swag from Creativation. Um, and if you guys have questions about kind of the whole thing, like my trip, um, anything that you've wanted to ask, because I know during a lot of those live videos, we I wasn't really able to answer the questions, like all the questions you guys had. I tried to do my best to keep up with them, um, but I couldn't always answer all the questions. Um, oh, thanks. It's a little bit of a mess back there. <laughs> um, so I, I eventually will be repainting all of that white. So it's all just like um, natural wood furniture right now. And then over there, um, my husband was building me um, some drawers. So it used to just be a bookshelf, right? Like it had like two shelves or something there. So we just took the shelves out and then um, he built me some drawers. So then they like um, you know, the drawers like pull out obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, um, he built me some drawers and so now I store like a whole bunch of stuff, but we haven't put drawer fronts on them yet. So eventually they will look cuter than they do right now. But, um, yeah. So sliding shelves from Deflecto. I don't think I did. I was in the Deflecto booth because, um, I actually came home with this. Um, they were giving these away at the end of the um, at the end of the event, and you had to like get oh yeah yeah I did um, like the little pull out drawers like the clear uh, like acrylic um, 
clear acrylic things with the little dividers for washi. I did see those. Um, okay, so they were giving these away at the end of the event because I think they were using them as their display. Like, I have some video footage of their booth, so you guys can check that out once I kind of like go through all my video. <laughs> I'll be making like a blog and then I'll be doing some clips of all the booths and all that. Um, so there's that. But yeah, they sent me home with this, which is really cool. So they actually stack. Um, so if you get more of them, you just can stack them right on top of each other and then just take the one that you need to your desk, which is really cool. Um, so I guess we can kind of like open it up and see what I have in here. So some of this stuff, um, some of it is like make and takes that I did while I was there. Some of it is stuff that I will be giving away, like extra pins and stuff like that. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll kind of just, yeah, you can put them on a rolling base. Yep, totally. Um, so then you can, it's almost like you can have your own little rolling cart organizer, but it's individual containers that you can close, which is nice. Um, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, so sorry if I sneeze. Um, okay, so um, there's this cute little thing. This is from um, Motion Crafts, and this was just like a freebie. It's almost like a business card kind of, but um, I wanted to have one because it was so cute. So it's got like this, um, uh, like a slit um, area right here. So there's like um, some stripes, but there's holes in it, right? And then there's a little heart in the background so that when you put them up, do you see how it's like moving? Um, okay, so when you pull it, ooh. <laughs> it's so cool so it looks like the little heart is moving <laughs> it's so adorable <laughs> um, I really like that it's so cute um, but anyway so um, you can see uh, hopefully um, the little heart has its own lines right and then there's a little heart so that can come out you know like this can be its own thing um, but uh, so these ones so they're both these lines are cut these lines are ink, so it's flat right here. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so that came from Motion Crafts, so I wanted to keep it because I just thought it was really cute. Um, but yeah, so that's my first thing. I got that. Um, this is just like a sample that um, I was watching a demonstration in the Crafter's Companion booth, um, and they were um, showing off their foil system. They have like a hot foil system. Um, that they have come up with and you um, put the dye on the hot plate um, it heats the dye up and then it uh, embosses well debosses um, the uh, the image as well as foils it um, so you can see it's got like really bad reflection because <laughs> um, it's really shiny but um, this is the dye that was foiled and then behind it we reused the um, like the leftover from this one to make another piece, right? So like you use all of the um, excess um, and it's, I don't know, it's really cool. Um, so this was two pieces and then we just kind of like glued it on top so that it was like a dimensional thing and you can see the other stuff under, yeah, the negative. <laughs> um, yes, so you can use it, um, you can use it with other dyes. You don't have to buy um, the specific dyes. The only thing is that um, the dyes that they make also deboss. Um, and the, the, um, the other thing is that with other dyes, what you would have to do is basically die cut your piece first, right? So that you had your dye, um, your die cut image or sentiment or whatever it was you were using. And then you put that on the hot foil thing and you put the foil on top of it um, and then you do that. So instead of putting the, the die cut directly on the metal thing or the, the heating element, um, you die cut it first and then you heat up your paper um, just because otherwise it would only, um, it would only cut or it would only foil like the outline of what you were trying to do, not all of the inside stuff or you know what I mean like the whole image wouldn't be foiled only the outlines of the image would be foiled because that's where the cutting line is um, but yeah anyway hey Mary <laughs> um, but yeah so there are um, multiple options for it which is really cool um, so there's the one from crafters companion and then there's also one from spellbinders as well um, so I think a lot of companies are kind of starting to do this now the hot hot foiling thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's, I got this from their booths just because I was watching a demo and I thought it was real cool. Um, okay, so there's that. 
then I also, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Paul Antonio. Um, he, you can't really see it very well. Hold on. <laughs> um, so he wrote my name for me. Let's see if you can see it. Um, it's a little hard to see cause it's, um, very thin. Like the lines are very thin, so they are not showing up on the camera very well. Um, but it says Jess, <laughs> but yeah, he is, um, uh, insane. His talent is incredible. Um, from what I hear, he may be like, um, he may write laws in England. Like his handwriting is the proclamation, whatever. I don't know. Super cool. <laughs> um, but he is with Spellbinders. Um, and he, um, he has a line of stuff with them and he was also teaching classes. Um, I didn't get to take a class with him, but Marie did, I think. Um, so anyway, that was cool. I actually ended up getting two, um, one he wrote for me just randomly. And then this one I got, um, for being part of the, um, Spellbinders team. Um, I went to their blogger breakfast and they, um, had one for everyone there. So I did that. So I have that. That's pretty cool. Um, I also did a bunch of make and takes. So while I was there or while you're at Creativation, a lot of the booths have um, an area where you can sit down and make a project, which is really cool because us creative folk love to make things. <laughs> um, and I know everyone wants to play with the products, so it's really cool to um, have a way to do that. So they have preset projects that you can make. Um, so this one I made at the Spellbinders booth. I really liked the way that it turned out. So they've got these cool dies that um, emboss and cut at the same time. Um, though they're embossing folders. Um, so it's like an embossing folder and die cut in one, which is really cool. Um, so I liked that one. That's super cute. Um, and the cool thing is it was just using um, like ephemera type stuff. Um, but it was, you know, it's easy, really easy to come together, but it's super cool. Oh, Mary, I'm happy to. I wish that everyone could have been there because it was super fun. Um, and like the only thing that would have made it better is if all of you guys were there. Um, cause I know a lot of people were asking questions and just like, how do I go? What is it like? <laughs> so I don't know. I just wanted to kind of check up. Um, no, it does both at once, Belinda. You don't have to run it through twice. So it's, um, it's got these little metal pieces inside the embossing folder. Um, and then you just run it through once and it cuts and embosses in one step. It's really cool. Um, okay, so I also made this super duper cute card um, from Lawn Fun. So this was one of their make and takes. They had a different make and take every day at their booth, which is so cute. <laughs> I love me some Lawn Fun, so this was adorable. Um, I got myself a selfie with Kelly Marie. <laughs> um, so that was really exciting. I super love that one. Um, I also did, here's, there's one more Lawn Fun one. Um, and sorry, I'm a little congested. <laughs> I'm having a hard time adjusting um, to like all the changes in climate and all of that. So um, I'm a little, ugh. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the other Lawn Fawn one. So this is these are featuring new release items from their um, upcoming collections. Um, so check out how cute that is. Oh, look at their little floral crowns. <laughs> and it says waving hello. It's so cute. Um, I absolutely love it. It's the, the most adorable little card ever. Um, so there's that one. And then, yes. Oh, the Get Wheel Soon set is super, super cute. I love that one a lot. Um, okay, so we also did, um, I, I took a class with Altenu, uh, Altenu, my nose. Um, I took a class with Altenu and I got to make some cards with them with their new stamp sets. Um, that they are coming out with um, in their new release. So I use this one. This is like a stained glass um, stamp, which is really super cute. And then you stamp all of these pieces individually and they have detailed layers as well. So it is a layering stamp. Um, and then they had some cute sentiments as well. Um, that was that one. I also made this in the Alta New class. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. <laughs> um, I really love, I know Mary, isn't it so cute? <laughs> um, this one is super, super pretty. I'm obsessed, I love this. Um, and then also this one. So these three I made in the Alta New class. Um, and so it was, I think it was called Simple and Quick Cards with Alta New or something like that. Um, but yeah, I got to make these in the Alta New class, which is really cool. The stamps are just so detailed and beautiful. 
they take all of the work out of it for you. All you have to do is line up the stamps and that's it. Um, so that's really cool. I also made this super cute little card <laughs> at the Avery L booth, um, which is super, super cute. Um, yeah, that's Kelly Marie. She's the owner of Lawn Fawn. <laughs> um, yeah, Kelly Marie had, um, for those of you that don't know, Kelly Marie, hi Joy, um, Kelly Marie is, um, she's the owner of Lawn Fawn and she had her skirts printed for every day of the show to match the new stamp sets. So she got her, the artwork from the Lawn Fawn stamps and printed it on her skirts, um, on like the fabric. And, um, she wore a different skirt each day of the show that had the stamps on it. They were the cutest skirts ever. I'm sure you could probably find them on Instagram. Um, cause everyone was like, totally obsessed with them. They were super cute. And she is the most adorable person I think I, I've ever seen. She is so cute. Um, I love her. Okay, so this one came from Avery L. It's got like the quilted background and I did get it a little bit dirty. Yuck. Um, but that's okay. Um, it's got kind of like this quilted sort of pierced background, um, which you can see there. I used the picket fence blending brush thingy majiggies for the first time for my background. Um, and then the, um, this cute little chick down here. Um, the original um, make and take had it kind of coming up from the bottom, but I thought like, I'll just put him out the side because I thought that was like a little more wacky. <laughs> I thought he was really cute. So super, super adorable. Oh yeah, maybe Belinda, I'll try that. I don't know. Um, and then I also, I think this might be my last make and take that I did, um, but I made this one at the Altenew booth. My butterfly is a little crooked. Um, <laughs> but it happens. <laughs> it was like a five minute project. So I was like, well, it's okay. Um, so what we did here is we used the embossing paste from Altenew. So you use the stencil, you put the embossing paste through it. Like look how dimensional that is. That's crazy. Um, you put the embossing paste through it and then we literally dumped embossing powder on top of the embossing paste and um, heat set it and it like bubbled and came with. So it's hard, you know, um, but it's super textured, which is really cool. And then literally giant washi. <laughs> um, this is just that huge floral washi. I love it so much. Um, and then I just stamped a sentiment on there, all the love. Super, super cute. I mean, yeah, but I'm kind of a perfectionist like you guys know. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so I did get some like samples and things like that while I was there. So I have some glue dots, <laughs> um, they're strong bond, but they're the flat kind. So they're not really dimensional, um, but there's that. Um, and then let me turn around my little case so I can see what all I've got in here. I'm trying to keep my eye on the time because I know we've only got like 12 more minutes before Christopher goes live. Okay, um, this is probably my favorite thing that I got at the show and it weighs like a trillion pounds right now. Um, so this is my lanyard. Um, hold on. Okay, so this was my badge for Creativation. I know Marie, right? <laughs> uh, memory, Mary, gosh. Um, I'm so used to saying Marie because that's who I was with all weekend. <laughs> um, so uh, this is my lanyard. It had, so like you would go to the class or an event or whatever and they would scan your badge um, to make sure that you were supposed to be there, um, which is really cool. So it says digital content creator down at the bottom. It's got my name, super cute. Um, and then I also did a make and take um, at one of the, uh, it was the photocentric booth. And, um, ooh, Tina, that's a good idea. Um, I might have to try that. <laughs> um, at the photocentric booth, you could make a, um, it's kind of like a luggage tag, but it's got this really cute stamp that says Arizona and it's got like the cacti, uh, the cactus and the mountains down at the bottom and the sunshine. I don't know. So I colored it in and um, stamped a watermark background and then they laminated it for you. And it's got my business card on the other side, which is cool. Um, so there's that. And then... Um, all of these pins, all the pins. <laughs> um, okay. So starting at the bottom, I have a, um, button. I guess it's a button. I have a button, um, from Hedgehog Hollow. So I got that one. And then I also got the Hobby Hour one from Stamp Junkies. Um, so it's got, um, the little Stamp Junkies thing here. It's the third annual Stamp Junkies Hobby Hours. <laughs> That's super cute. 
Um, also, this pen down at the bottom here, it's a little bit glary, sorry. Um, this one is from Ant uh, Paul Antonio, so he, um, it says um, A Scribe, that's kind of his thing. Um, this one is from Spellbinders, down at the bottom here. Um, this one is the Heffy Doodle pin. I hope you guys can see these. So there, that came from the Heffy Doodle booth. This one is the Gnome. It came from Lawn Fawn. That one is super duper cute. I have my little Misty pin. Had to have that one. <laughs> um, this one is from Jane Davenport. Um, so she's got her whole like mermaid thing going on. Super duper cute. I love that one. Um, this one, which I just realized I put upside down on my lanyard, but that's okay. Um, this one is a Spellbinders pin as well, and it is from Becca Feakin. She's Amazing Paper Grace, and she is awesome. I love her. Um, on this side over here, so we did our lion already. Um, this is the Stamping Village pin. Hi, Linda. Um, so this was, let's see if I can get it any closer. I know I have so much flair. <laughs> Um, so this one is from the Stamping Village. I hope you can see it. It's not coming very clear on the camera, um, but it's got the cute little logo there, the Stamping Village, um, and it says Creativation 2019, so that's super cool. Um, this is probably my favorite one that I got, um, and those of you who follow her know exactly where this came from. <laughs> um, and this is, yes, Tracy, I am back home, yep. Um, so this one came from uh, Jennifer McGuire. Like, Jennifer McGuire herself gave me that pen. Like, literally handed it to me. Um, <laughs> she is the cutest ever. Thanks, Tracy. Um, she was so, so sweet. I absolutely loved talking to her. I got to chat with her for a little while, and she was just, uh, she was adorable. Um, so she gave me that one. Um, and then I have this one from Sharon Sowell, which I got directly from her. Sharon designs for um, Spellbinders. And this woman cuts every single one of her dies by hand with a pair of tiny scissors. So like if you buy her dies, the Great Big Wonderful World collection, she literally cuts them by hand and then they scan them and turn them into a digital whatever and then make it into a die. But she cuts them all herself. It's not drawn and then whatever. She just cuts it. It's magical. She is like a unicorn. <laughs> um, and then I also have this one, which is the Catherine Pooler um, pin. She was super duper sweet. Um, I loved her also. Um, so that's that. I have these ones. I think that's all the pins that I have. But I, I don't know. This thing is like really heavy. <laughs> um, so I couldn't wear it. But I'm going to have to find some way to store them. Um, okay, so we're running short on time because Christopher's going to go live in like seven minutes. Um, so I'm going to try to like breeze through everything. We may have to come back to it. And that's okay if we have to do that. I got this random sample of glue. <laughs> they were handing them out. Glue. Yep. Um, okay, this is like kind of random. Um, but I got this apron for working in the tonic booth. Um, so there's that. Oh, I have my special tonic apron. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now I have my tonic studios um, thing there. That's super cute, love it. Um, I'm like running out of room to put things. <laughs> okay, this little bag came from Jennifer McGuire. So it had my pin in it, my share handmade, handmade kindness pin. Um, I also have this sweet pen, that, a pen, not a pin, a pen that says um, share handmade kindness. Oh, thank you, Heidi. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was super exciting. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, okay, so it has a couple little stickers that say share handmade kindness. Um, and then inside this one, this is where my pin was. Um, so that's already on my lanyard. Um, and then, oh, uh, I didn't even see this. Hold on, there's more, but wait, there's more. Um, oh, it's a big sticker. Okay, that's super cool. I love it. Um, and then what I think is probably one of the coolest things is this stamp. So now I have this um, Share Handmade Kindness stamp directly from Jennifer. Super, super cool. I'm super excited about it. Yay! Okay, so that's the stuff from Jennifer. Um, let's see. I really like that. That was really cool that she did that. Um, okay. 
Um, I'm like, hurry, 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 hurry. Yes, I did meet Christina Werner also. I had a selfie with her on my Instagram too. <laughs> um, okay, from Kindred Stamps, uh, we have this super adorable stamp that says, Crafty Friends are the bestest. <laughs> How cute is that? I really like it. She also gave a sticker, which is super cute. Um, and she was really, really sweet. Um, and somehow I ended up with two of these, so I'm gonna probably give one away. Um, but it is a button that says, I love kindred stamps. Oh wait, it says, I'm just kidding. Oh no, I have two different ones. Oh, I have one that says, I love kindred stamps and one that says kindred stamps addict. So that's cool. Um, she was super sweet. Her name is um, Rachel. Oh, I was standing next to her? Wait, what? Who? Who was I standing next to? Was it Christina Werner? I'm like a little distractible. <laughs> um, okay, in the Alta New class, I got these little inks. So I got a six um, a six pack of ink. Hey, Heather, I'm like speeding through stuff because Christopher's about to go live. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna have to pick it up later because I take too long to talk about everything. Um, so yeah, I got the six packs of ink. This is um, something that I got in the class um, because we were using those for the um, the projects that we did in the class. Um, I also snagged this um, glimmer foil for the hot foil machine for Spellbinders. So that's pretty cool. It's gold, I think. It looks rose gold. I don't know, I can't tell. Anyway, um, and that's that. <laughs> I feel like a crazy person. <laughs> yes, we have to talk amongst ourselves. Okay, so you guys, I do have some extra things. Um, so we can talk a little bit more about this later, but I have an extra Jane Davenport pin. So there's that. I have at least one extra Misty pin. Oh, I have two. I have two extra Misty pins. Um, I have, let's see, what else do I have? I have three. I don't know if I have three or if I have two extras. I might only have two extras. Um, but at least two, one of them might be for me. <laughs> um, but I have at least two of this adorable little stamp set that I'm going to be giving away. Um, so this is from Heffy Doodle. And then you also get the die as well on the back. So I have at least two of those, but maybe three. Um, okay, so Christopher's going live. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye for now. But if you guys want to, I have like a ton more junk that I can show you. Um, but if you guys want to, I can go live again after he is done. Um, and we can pick back up and keep chatting. So um, you guys just let me know and I will see you over in Christopher's channel.